Thanks very much. Well, those are triple digits made for an uncomfortable day for just about everyone. But just imagine what it was like for two teams playing football in the East Bay tonight in this heat. ABC 70s reporter Alan Wong is live in Livermore tonight. Alan, that must have been pretty tough. Wow, Dan, what a difference it made when the sun went down here in Livermore. The mercury dropped almost 30 degrees since then. But earlier today, people were doing everything they could to stay hydrated. It was 110 degrees at 5.30 when Granada High School's freshmen kicked off to Walnut Creek's Las Lomas High. It's pretty indescribable. <laughs> it just is. Fans were sweltering in the sun, but it was even hotter on this synthetic turf, which is said to add 10 to 15 degrees of heat. Paul Sandoval was monitoring his son from the stands. We told him to drink plenty of fluids and, uh, you know, keep the head cool and come off the field, take the helmet off. Playing in full pads was like running around in your own personal oven. It's super, super hot, especially wearing all black. We usually just fill just each of these once. It's like twice today because they would drink a lot of water and it's very hot. Other players were using these cooling towels that activate when dampened and snapped. The number one thing is you have to make sure they're sweating. If you see them when they're not sweating and you have high activity, chances are they're not hydrated properly. If you get to cramps, it's usually too late. Coaches out here realize that hydration is a key factor that could win a game, which is why they're getting players to start hydrating as early as two days before a game like this. In Livermore, Alan Wong, ABC 7 News. Well,